It's always very exciting when a new credit card arrives in the mail, especially if it's a premium credit card with a special welcome package for you to unbox. Now I wanted to start doing a series of videos highlighting the unboxing experience around some of the best premium credit cards out there. And today, I've got myself a brand new RBC Avion Visa Infinite Privilege that just arrived in the mail. So let's go ahead and unbox it. All right, so here we have the package for the new RBC Avion Visa Infinite Privilege that I recently got in the mail. You can see that this card arrives through UPS and it's got this tracking label on it. It's got all of my personal information on here, so I've gone ahead and blocked that out. And then over here, my apartment building also wrote my unit number all over the place, so I went ahead and scribbled that out as well. But here we have the package the box in the card is inside. Pretty straightforward packaging. Let's find out what's on the inside. Okay. So, a couple of different layers. And here we've got the RBC Avion Visa Infinite Privilege in its box. First impressions, this box has definitely got a very premium feel. It's got this nice design to make it look like a leather bound book almost. It's got the RBC logo set here in the middle. We can go ahead and remove this box on the outside and let's find out exactly what's on the inside here. So there we have it, right as we open it up, we have the RBC Avion Visa Infinite Privilege card itself. Now I've obviously gone ahead and blurred out the card numbers, but taking it out from right here, oof, that's a satisfying feeling. So if we take a closer look at the card over here after removing that activate your card sticker, we can see that it's got a pretty cool design that combines both the matte black on the card body itself and then the reflective surface for the RBC logo and the Avion text and the Visa Infinite Privilege symbol and also this little web design on the corner here which kind of symbolizes the Avion card family. You'll also find this design over on the regular RBC Avion Visa Infinite too. Now even though this is a premium card, it's still plastic, it's not quite metal and I feel like that's an area where RBC could actually improve the design of this card in the future and make it metal just like many of its competitors have done on the Visa Infinite Privilege level cards. So now putting the card aside for a bit, let's take a look at what's inside the rest of the box. And so we lift this little tab over here and it seems like it actually reveals the rest of the contents. Now there's actually two more slots for cards as you'll see on the back of this little cardboard tab that they have and I presume that's where your cards would have shown up if you had actually added supplementary cards at the time of the application. This actually is a pretty cool cardboard tab that I might keep just to put some cards in these little in these little slots. Anyway let's put that aside for now and we'll take a look at some of this uh, I guess it's just marketing material, but let's take a look. Welcome to a world of choice, prestige, and unparalleled service. An infinitely remarkable experience awaits you at every turn with your RBC Avion Visa Infinite Privilege card. Okay. So this kind of welcome letter from the Senior Vice President of Cards at Royal Bank of Canada herself basically just tells you a few steps for activating the card and maximizing the benefits. So first you'll activate, and then you'll enroll for your exclusive Visa Infinite Privilege benefits, including a Priority Pass membership with six complimentary visits per year. And then also download the RBC app. So that's also pretty straightforward. We can go ahead and put this one aside. And then after that, we've got a little book in the box here. It says Life Without Limits, experiences without equal. Let's take a look inside. 
This one basically walks you through the perks and features of the card, and we can actually take a look here to understand more about the card. We'll also cover this a bit later in the video where I share with you why I actually decided to give this card a go. But over here, you can already see one of the primary features, which is 1.25 RBC rewards points for every dollar in purchases charged to the card, which is a pretty strong earning rate on all of your purchases. So looking through the rest of the booklet, you know, you've got some lifestyle pictures here. Embrace simplicity, ensure perfection. Reward yourself with unlimited possibilities. First class around the world. Here they're highlighting the complimentary lounge access, six priority pass visits on this card through your membership. Experience more of the finer things in life. And we have some pictures of charbroiled oysters here because time is finite. So time is money, definitely trying to appeal to some of the, the more affluent crowd that might get this card. Mentioning here the Visa Infinite Privilege Concierge and some of the services that they can take care of. And then we talk a little bit about the insurance benefits on this card. So as a premium travel credit card, you've got the first 31 consecutive days of your trip outside Canada or your province covered under the travel medical insurance. So that's this little marketing booklet. And now we can also take a look at the rest of the contents. This one is simply the same letter that you would get in the mail if you hadn't received this entire welcome package, simply welcoming you to the card. And that's also where the card itself would have been found. Again, if it weren't actually put at the very top of the box. So once again, a signed letter from Ms. Athena Varmazis over here, Senior Vice President of Cards at RBC. As with most Canadian cards, there's gonna be this 2.5% foreign conversion fee, which is honestly pretty disgraceful for a travel card, but hey, that's kind of the industry standard here in Canada. And then you can see that the annual fee over here is gonna be $399 for the primary card holder and $99 for each additional card. Then you've also got stuff like the annual interest rate of 20% or 23% on cash advances. And hopefully none of us will ever have to be concerned about paying these interest rates because obviously you should always be paying off your card balances on time and in full. So we can put this away. And finally, we take a look at the last layer, which is a very, very, let's see. Yeah, it's a very nice black envelope with the words, important documents enclosed, kind of emblazoned across the front. Really cool envelope over here. Flipping around to the back, we see there's this subtle RBC logo. Again, super nice envelope. And let's take a look at what important documents are inside. I feel like these are, yeah, these are just gonna be the standard disclosure statement, uh, credit card agreement, and then the certificate of insurance for all of the insurance perks that you'll actually get as a cardholder. Personally, I almost never actually keep the physical copies of these things whenever I get a credit card in the mail. Usually I just throw them out or put them in the shredder. And then if I ever need to refer back to them, these are pretty typically found online as well if you need them. So we can put this aside and this was our cool envelope, which I think I might keep alongside the, the cardboard tab that this thing came with. These two things I might decide to keep and the box itself, but otherwise that pretty much wraps up our entire unboxing experience with the RBC Avion Visa Infinite Privilege. Quite a few layers, pretty cool packaging here and the card itself, I'm looking forward to trying out. All right, so I hope you enjoyed that little unboxing experience. Let me know what you thought of the whole sequence in the comments below. I wanted to add a few words about the RBC Avion Visa Infinite Privilege, why I decided to apply for this card, and what I'm hoping to get out of it eventually. As we mentioned, the card has a pretty strong earning rate of 1.25 RBC Avion points for every dollar you spend. It's also got six complimentary visits to a Priority Pass lounge and pretty strong travel insurance as part of the insurance benefits. But on the whole, those three benefits alone probably isn't enough for me to personally justify that $399 annual fee 
especially when you consider the fact that the RBC Avion Visa Infinite Privilege has a sign-up bonus that isn't really that high for a premium travel credit card. It's only 25,000 Avion points, which itself might not even be competitive against that $399 annual fee. Compare that to some of the other Visa Infinite Privilege cards out there issued by the big five banks, or the other competitor cards like the American Express Aeroplan Reserve card, for example, those cards do have sign-up bonuses that more than outweigh the first year annual fee. And so you can kind of see why the RBC Avion Visa Infinite Privilege isn't really a card that we focus on too much here in the community because that sign-up bonus is relatively low compared to its peers. However, this card does have a pretty unique advantage and it's actually the reason that I went ahead and applied for the card. Now the card's marketing materials, which we just looked at, don't even do a good job of highlighting this unique advantage. And that's the fact that as a card holder of the RBC Avion Visa Infinite Privilege, you have the ability to directly redeem Avion points against the cost of a business class or first class ticket at a fixed rate of two cents per Avion point. That's the ability that regular Avion card holders, so the RBC Avion Visa Infinite, do not enjoy. You do need to hold this premium card or alternatively the business version of the Avion card in order to have this ability to redeem points directly against business class and first class tickets without paying any additional fees at a fixed rate of two cents per point. And if you can generate Avion points relatively quickly, whether that's through the 1.25x earning rate on the RBC Avion Visa Infinite Privilege, or perhaps through racking up the bonuses on multiple Avion products in a short period of time, then you can quickly rack up enough points to redeem against a business class ticket without having to use your other frequent flyer miles, such as Aeroplan points, and saving those points for other redemptions in the future. The other advantage of using RBC Avion this way is that you aren't restricted to booking with the airline partners that you can access through frequent flyer programs, which you would be if you were to transfer your Avion points to let's say British Airways Avios or Cathay Pacific Asia Miles or American Airlines instead. With those airlines, you can only book with One World Airlines. But if you were to redeem Avion points directly against the cost of a premium ticket, then you can start booking Star Alliance or SkyTeam Airlines or even some airlines that are notoriously tough to book on points, such as Swiss First Class or Singapore Airlines First Class. Experiences like those, which can be relatively difficult to book through a more traditional frequent flyer program, can be easier to book if you can find a reasonable cash fare and offset it using your RBC Avion points directly at two cents per point through this special perk on the Visa Infinite Privilege or alternatively on the Visa Infinite Business version of the card. So that's one of my primary motivations for getting this card and trying out that special benefit for booking business class. However, I do have to say that the card does have a pretty hefty annual fee of $399 after all. So I can't guarantee that at some point I won't decide to switch away from the card and move towards a cheaper RBC product instead. But hey, I'm pretty happy to give any credit card a try at least once. And hey, this premium packaging on the card is a nice little bonus. So let me know if you enjoyed this video, and if so, please do hit the like button and subscribe to the Prince of Travel YouTube channel. Just click the subscribe button below the video. And let me know if you enjoyed this unboxing style of video, because hey, I really enjoyed making it myself. I'd love to do more unboxing videos for the other premium credit cards out there. And if you're interested, let me know which credit card you think I should be unboxing next. I'll see you in the next video. All right guys, here we have, all right guys, all right guys, so here we have, and then there's a couple of dining benefits, which, you know, as part of the Visa Infinite Privilege program, I suppose you do get access to a few exclusive dining events every now and then.